Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to another Bratz-related video. That was my hair. You got to see a little bit of my hair. It's brown. I'm not... Okay, I don't want to... I want to dye my hair, but I haven't. But that's not the point. So, to earlier this week, I went to the Goodwill, and I found these two. I know who they are. Unicorn and... Merbaby. I also got a little Merbaby. I'm very sad that Merbaby's not in her stock outfit because I really like Merbaby. She's cool. I want her to get a big sister. And I was considering selling this one for an absurd amount of money because she's worth an absurd amount of money. But I really like her. She's kind of adorable. So I'm just gonna put her there with the ones that I want to keep. This was a bad idea. I have to put my thumb back here to stop the camera. So as some of you may or may not know, Rock Angels has always been a very important line to me, especially Chloe, because she was my favorite, my number one favorite Bratz doll growing up. And to prove it, this is the guitar that my Chloe came with. I never got rid of it because I liked the guitar, but I really missed Chloe. Like, I really missed having her. I don't think I have any of her other accessories, except for the white shirt. I know that I had that, and I already put it on the doll, because I got the doll <laughs> today. And, um, yeah, I had her hat, too, but I I ruined it, because I wanted to make Torali wear it. You know Torali, my favorite Monster High character. I cut holes in Rock Angel Chloe's hat, because I wanted Torali to wear it. Remains my biggest regret to this day, aside from selling her to begin with. So, as you guys know, in my last video, I talked about the fake Monster Eye reboot. But in the video before that, I reviewed Costume Party Princess Chloe. Yeah. I had no nostalgia attachment to this doll, I just thought she was cool. But now, I got three more! So according to a lot of you, this shirt is from a very expensive pack with two twins. Phoebe and somebody else, I didn't remember their names. But uh, yeah, that's, that's a nice little fun factoid. Thank you all for that. I suppose I should start this off with the doll who's disappointed me the most so far. And it is Rock Angel's Jade. Let me go fix the lighting in here. So yeah, here is Rock Angel's Jade and I really love her outfit, but here's where the unfortunate part comes in. She has the most marks on her face. I could probably get rid of the ones down here with acetone, maybe. But if I can't, I don't know what I'll do. And then there's the big one in her eye. Yeah, so I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know how to get rid of that one. If you guys have any suggestions other than painting over it, um, please tell me. And if you want me to use an acne cream method, please tell me what acne cream to use, because I don't use acne cream. I just kind of wash my face and then my acne goes away. <laughs> I promise it wasn't that way when I was younger. Um, so I really love her shirt. And I especially love her faux leather jacket. I wish that she had her sunglasses, but hey, you win some, you lose some. Um, one of the belt loops on her pants was coming undone, so I just tucked it under the belt. Her belt's nice, by the way. And I really like this little chain that she has on the side here. Yeah. I like the rips in her jeans, and her boots are very nice, too. But they were a bit dirty, so I had to clean them off. And if you're wondering why her hair looks vaguely wet, it's because it is. I, I washed her. She doesn't have the same hair texture as um costume Chloe, so... It's kind of more similar to, like, modern Monster High dolls and stuff, you know? I say modern like they're still being made. <laughs> you know, like, it's got, like, the better texture for brushing and stuff. So yeah, she was the most disappointing, but the other two came to serve. <laughs> That's the cringiest thing I've ever said. But yeah, let's go. The second cool, second coolest doll I ended up getting was Rock Angel's Yasmin. My brain keeps wanting to call her Sasha, but I know that this isn't Sasha. Sasha is much darker. I don't know why I'm stupid today, but she's very pretty. I really like this doll. She's the only one that included her hat. Oh, I forgot to mention, Jade came wearing earrings, but I took them and gave them to Chloe. Oh yeah, I've gotta be honest, I don't know if they're wearing the right earrings either. Um, she has these basic silver hoops on both ears. And have her eyes always been this color? You wearing contacts, girl? I can't tell. Um, I really like her jacket. Like, this one is really nice. 
It's got red lightning bolts that are covered in sequins. And that's about it. Her boots are about the same as Jade's, I think, but in black and red. And yeah. Hextian, the dude who paints doll clothes, would approve of the red bottoms on her shoes. <laughs> and finally, we have the woman, the legend herself, my grail doll for all of like two weeks, Rock Angel's Chloe. And she definitely looks a bit different than I remember her, but I think it's because as a kid, I probably cut her hair or something. I don't know what I did to mine as a kid, but she would not have been in as good condition as this one. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the doll that I had and was so attached to. <laughs> look at how different their faces look. Like, how are these both Chloe's? <laughs> um, so she was in the best condition out of these three. I didn't have to wash her at all. I didn't even have to give her face a scrub because she was just perfect. Obviously, I did give her the earrings and I did give her my original shirt that I had. You can tell it's the one that I had years ago because the logo is off-center. Horrendously off-center. <laughs> yeah, people were saying that I should leave this shirt on her, but... You know, gotta have the nostalgia. If I have the shirt, I will put her in the shirt. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely had these pants and I colored over them for my shitty creepypasta custom. And I had these boots. Oh my god, I miss this doll so much. I'm so glad to have her back. Um, fun fact, I actually had Bratz before I had Monster High when I was a young kid. And I reenacted Bratz movies with Chloe as Cleo. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that they made Monster High dolls, so I just played out the stories with Cleo, which is where the emotional attachment came from. That's why I'm very glad to have her back. Yes, I did just admit that Clo Cleo used to be my favorite as a kid. It was because she was pretty, but now my favorite is Torlai and Abby. These three skirts were also included, and I guess this shirt counts as an extra now because I had her old one. And I now have three guitars, including my original Rock Angels Chloe's guitar, and I can identify it because of the red strap. And this one I assume was meant to be Jade's because the strap is black. Also, cute difference in the rose print around the side. It's kind of nice. There's also a bit of color difference to it. No, actually, I think they might be the same shade of red. I'm just slightly colorblind. And I guess this one might have come with Yasmin. Yeah, because I remember the other guitar that I've seen Chloe with before looks like this one, but in black. Which would have been so cool. Oh, I wish I had a black guitar. But yeah. Mm, nostalgia. The ink removing tutorial. The irony that I'm even going to be doing it on the same doll. <laughs> I've been trying to get Chloe to stand, but she just won't. All right, so I think I'm gonna end this video right here by saying that I'm not gonna do the benzyl peroxide method because the person that I was watching do it did a spot above her eye and I noticed that half of her eyebrow looked like it was missing. So yeah, I'm afraid now and I'm not gonna put the thing on her eye. I'll just deal with it because like from back here, you can only partially see. <laughs> Um, if I can find something to do about it, I will. But thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!